Intelligence was never under my direct purview, but I am well aware of the many exploits of the former Cypher 9. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. <laughs> If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. Secrets. They are windows, doors, and walls all at once. You lead a complicated life. What can I say? You've got me pegged. Not bad. As in all things, it is the force that guides me. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. The more we discover, the better equipped the Empire will be in future endeavors. Precisely, Commander. If you don't mind my use of the title. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! The Jedi Temple is now in Imperial hands. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment. Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still, the Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My Lord. Sergeant Tarsten, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my Lord. But I've a report from... from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my Lord. They... Try taking a breath, Sergeant. Yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Ready the shuttle for departure. I'm going to Korriban. You're eager. Good. We need eager.
At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council Chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you. And with the great Sith Empire. The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Anything else requiring my attention? Has the Republic attacked any more Imperial targets? No. I think they've realized that their reach has exceeded their grasp. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. If you need any further participation, you know where to find me. When the time comes, there will be no hesitation. That's a promise. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. Kane. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Then start talking. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item, an artifact. I overheard Arcus talking to Go. It did seem like they had some ulterior motive. If I knew more, I could determine what that motive is. But there's very good reason to be concerned about it. Meaning? I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it, not from our current vantage point. But a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, writhing, growing. That sounds ominous. I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire is in terrible danger. Someone like you, Commander. Most would never trust you, but you're practically the only one I trust right now. Help me unravel this mystery. Potential rogue operatives. Galactic repercussions. You've got yourself an ally. I knew I could count on you. I felt it. I'll see if I can't make sense of what happened on Tython and Korriban. And what all of this means. Whatever I find, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Stay vigilant, and may the Force ever serve you. Welcome. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. 
Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. A secret conspiracy. I have some measure of expertise in that area. Yes, Commander. A blessing you are here. I'll admit I'm a bit out of my depth. I've followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan, where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. It seems to me that Arcus and Darrock are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. I was about to send out a search party. Sorry, I had to confirm some things before coming to see you. As I suspected, the Order of Revan as it once existed is no more. A bit of a shame, really. The Revanite's pragmatism may have been anathema to the Sith, but there was something appealing about it. I'd much rather do without mysterious enclaves and secret orders, thank you. They're good for job security, if nothing else. But if they get their way, you won't have a job. The Order of Revan, as it stands now, doesn't wish to change the Empire from within. It aims to destroy us completely, and the Republic along with us. I've not yet learned why or how, but Theron Shan might. He appears to be rather good at his job. With ears in both camps, we'll be better off against whatever threat the Revanites pose. I'm glad you feel that way. I admit I was concerned you wouldn't take to the idea. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? What do we know about Colonel Darrock? Like Arcus, Darrock held a great deal of sway. With the two of them combined, there's no telling how many are secretly working for them. I should get to my investigation. Whatever Arcus's Revanites and their infinite army has in store for the galaxy, it can't be good. May the Force ever serve you. Glad to see you again, as always, but I'm afraid any further niceties will have to wait. I know I've mentioned before a strange disturbance within the Force. A sort of writhing mass tied to Darth Arcus. I thought I'd use my connection to Arcus to seek out others tied to the disturbance. Revanites working against us from within. I found a few. Did you learn anything? Theron Shan helped me decipher coded messages between the Revanites. Due to interference on Manan, they've accelerated their schedule. Now that they know they're up against us, who could blame them? Darth Arcus is intelligent, manipulative, and immensely powerful. We mustn't get overconfident. There is another way to stop Arcus. Theron's traced his activities to Ricarda Prime. He and Colonel Darrock are building their infinite army. And there's more. The implants they're using, they're made from pieces of the Starforge. The Starforge? Tell me what you know about it. The Starforge was a force-imbued, self-sustaining shipyard, Rakatan. It was destroyed centuries ago, but the Revanites have recovered some of the wreckage. Its technology makes the soldiers nearly immortal, seizes their minds as well, placing them under the Revanites' full control. We need to learn how they accomplished this. It could prove useful to us. Indeed, it could. Theron and Jakara are waiting for us planet side. The sooner we depart for Rakata Prime, the better. You made it. The way Revan was laying waste to that place, I wasn't sure you'd come out of it in one piece. What are you talking about? I'm hardly in one piece. Anyway, my point is, 
I'm glad you got out of there. Any ally right now is a welcome ally. We took care of Arcus, Darak, and their infinite army, but where does that leave us? It's a good question. Now that we know Revan's in the picture, everything changes. For the worse. In fact, it's already started. Whatever do you mean? I'll fill you in, D4. Come on, Jakaro. Let's give him a chance to talk. Lana, when you're done, we can start picking out backwaters to go lie low in. Some good news. I was able to extract a good amount of data from the Infinite Army Conscription Console. Unfortunately, we can't possibly hand it over to our Imperial colleagues. The Revanites have just proven they're everywhere. Jakara's had 12 death sentences declared on him. Theron's been disavowed by the SIS. And the Empire's placed a bounty on my head for the murder of Darth Arcus. I'll go to Darth Mar himself and make sure this asinine charge goes away. Please, Commander, speak to no one. Not even Darth Mar. Our names can't be cleared unless we expose the Revanites. And we can't expose the Revanites without knowing who to expose. The way forward is clear. Theron, Jakaro, and I are going underground. We'll find a way to uncover Revan's plan and stop him. Since we can't take the direct approach anymore, the three of you working in secret is our best option. If I may suggest, you should continue normally with your life. For all intents and purposes, you are Imperial Intelligence. The Empire needs you. Be who you are, but be observant and tell no one the truth about us or what you know. Above all, do not try to contact me. Make this plan work, Lana. I'll do everything in my power. All our fates ultimately rest in your hands. Remember that.